Hello people. Welcome to AB Animation Studios. You are watching AB Tutorials. In the last episode, we saw what is After Effects and for what it's used. Today we are going to open and see the detailed view of options and tools available in After Effects. In case if you have missed to watch our last episode and don't have much knowledge in After Effects, please check the link in the description or in i button to watch the video. I don't want to waste your time by talking too much, come let's start learning. This is the After Effects icon. If you click and ask whether it will open like lightning means, no. It entirely depends upon your system, for some it may open fast and for some it may be slow. So after opening After Effects, this is the view. Please don't feel mine is different from yours, it's different for me because my version might vary with yours. Let's start with this window. This is mainly used to open the projects that is already created old project. So for creating new projects we will use this window. Click this button and create new projects. This is After Effects interface. In this video we are going to learn section wise. As you see the screen we are going to split this interface section wise. This is toolbar. This is project area. This is composition area. This is tools, plugin panel. And this is timeline area. Okay, what? Are you confused? Don't worry. We can see all these tools in a detailed view. Toolbar. As you all know the tools which we use while working in our projects is available here. Come let's see each tool separately in detail. First is Home button. When you open After Effects one panel will be opened right. To access this panel this Home button is used. What is Panel? Panel is nothing but these small boxes available in separate windows and to make it easier for you I will call it as Box. Next is Selection Tool. It's a simple tool to select the objects in our project. Hand Tool. This is used to move the objects available in work area that is composition panel and timeline. Next is the zoom tool which is used for zooming. I don't know whether you have noticed the sections available in tool panel. Until now we have seen only the basic section. Now we are going to see 3D related. Yes in After Effects you can also create 3D and we can see about it in detail in the upcoming episodes. Next is Orbit Around Cursor Tool. Don't think what name is this as they have named it for easy understanding. This tool is used in 3D and if you have experience in modeling a 3D object to check the position we rotate the camera. And view it in different angles so to easily rotate this camera and see this option is used. Before we have to add a camera. After that only we can rotate the 3D objects. But now you can rotate using this tool with the default camera and that will be very useful. An extra cool feature available in this tool is it takes the cursor point as center and moves. This is just an example and we can see about this tool in detail in the upcoming projects. If you long press this tool you can see two extra options popping out. And this is available for some particular tools where you can long press and access it. We can learn about these extra tools in detail while working in future. Next is Move Tool. It's used to rotate and move the objects in 3D space. Dolly Tool. It's used for zoom in and out. We can learn about these extra options in detail while working in future. Ok now 3D section is over. Next is Rotation and Anchor Tool. You may think why again Rotation Tool is available. This is for 2D and the previous one is for 3D. Now let's see what is Anchor Tool and for what it's used in detail. In After Effects for all the created objects one center point will be available. While we use Rotate or Zoom option object is rotated or zoomed from that particular center point. That center point is called as Anchor Point in After Effects. 
Anchor tool is used to move the anchor point like this. So as you see your rotations will change. And in this section shape tool is available. You would have seen this tool in Illustrator or Photoshop. You can create basic shapes using this tool. Next is pen tool. I think no intro is needed for this. Then text tool which you would have already used. Next section is used for roto work. Roto? What is roto? In Photoshop if we are removing the background of a person, subject, object with the help of pen tool. Roto also similar to that. Process of removing background in video is called roto. First one is brush, which is used for selecting. Next is stamp tool and next to that is eraser tool. This tool is specially designed for roto and I will explain you its amazing uses in a separate video later. This is puppet tool. This can be used as rig or as bone for a character. Many of you would have heard about this and we will also learn about it in detail. These are the properties available for each tool. Next is the workspace view. Where you can change the view, interface according to your wish. You have to build the panels, go to Windows to Workspace and save as new workspace with a name and save it and after that whenever you open After Effects you can see your customized view. This is Help, where you can search and see but only regarding After Effects. Now we have completed Toolbar and next we are going to see about Project Panel. All the files which we are importing will be available in this Project Panel. You can use this for searching. If you type your file name, that particular file will be on top. This is the file which we imported now. We will learn about these below options once we start working. The next box is Effect Controls. As the name itself clarifies that it's used to control the effects for animating and changing the values. The next box is the Composition panel that is the work area. It shows the visuals of the animations which we have created. To say it in a simple way it's similar to the viewfinder in a camera. We will learn about these extra options in detail once we start working otherwise it will be confusing. Next is the very useful effects and extensions panels are there. It has many options for each panels, so first I will tell you about the important options in detail. Info. While working if you have any error or any layer is not working properly or file is not getting imported you will receive a message here and you can refer that. Color code has the values of the position which we are using and you can refer if it's useful and next is effects and presets panel. This is the famous panel as many of you would have tried playing with the effects once you started learning after effects. When I started learning after effects I was also trying each effect and rendering after effects and this was the time pass for me. If you have done like this please share your experience in the comment box below. If I explain about all these small effects now this video will not end, so I will teach you about each effect in separate video later. Small tip from my side. Yes, our usual, bonus tip. In this effects and presets section many text animation effects are available. Previewing this text animation is a difficult process so to make your work easier I will give you a way. Please check the Motion Island website which will be very useful for you and I have given the link in the description. This is not a promotion video. I referring this because I have personally benefited using this website. For sure you should use this website. You can see all the varieties of text animations in this link and use it your projects. Don't forget to check and please support them too. Next is the align box which is used to align the text. Next is character and paragraph box which you already know. Next is the tracker box, which is used to track video in After Effects. Yes, we can easily track our videos in After Effects. If you are thinking what is tracking means, we can track the movement in the video. Like you may saw in some videos text also moving with the video. We will see about this in the upcoming videos. Tracking will be very interesting. 
This below section is the timeline section where we spend most of our time as all the edits which we do are available here. After Effects is layer based. All the layers will be small small bars or lines like this. We will be able to see the first layer in the first line. As you see in composition the first bar line will be visible in front. We can see about timeline and its properties in detail while we start working in projects. Along with this render box will be available. If you are thinking what is render. Usually we used to do save the images in Photoshop right? That same process in After Effects. Saving the video or converting the After Effects file into video file is called as render. So people we have successfully completed the interface. Okay, shall we start working? Don't worry, I am not going to do it like that still if I continue you will surely close the video and go. Let's wind up here, I will give one small exercise. Try installing After Effects and use it so that you may also get some idea. If you have any doubt in this intro video please ask in the comments section. If you are new to our channel please subscribe to join our family. Also click the bell icon so that you are notified when we upload new videos. We will catch up in the next video till then it's AB signing off.